Okay, now that you got all the required um, apps and programs installed on your computer, we can get on with this tweak. Um, so th this way, I'm uh, this way I'm going to show you right now is the way to download images off the internet and uh, use them as your background. Um, I'll also show you how to get images from your phone and use them as your background um, for the SMS app. So, so first this. Okay, so I'm just gonna look up an image. Can be anything you want. I'm just gonna say Apple logo. Let's look at the images for it. Uh, you can pick any one as long as the size is bigger than 320 by 480. So um, this one's 350 by 382. That's fine as long as it's bigger than 320 by 480, and you're able to shrink it down to size. It's fine. If it's smaller than 320 by 480, that's gonna look weird because then you have to stretch out the image. So I'm just gonna pick this one. Whatever one you pick, go to View Original Image, and it should take you to a page where it's just the image by itself. Um, you can wait for it to be done loading up whatever it's doing once it's done you can right click it click save image save it to your desktop and that's it now what you can do is you can open GIMP too. I already have it on my desktop so open GIMP This might take a while to load the first time you open it, so that's fine. Just let it do what it's got to do. Then this will come up. Just go ahead and click um, File, Open, and then pick on your desktop your image. So this is my image, and then click Open. Okay, now this is going to come up. Now we should have Windows. Um, I don't know. Okay, so just right click it, click go to image, go to scale image, and then this button right here, it's gonna say it's linked together, so you're gonna unlink it by clicking it, and then you're gonna change the, dimen the dimensions to the width that's gonna be 320, and the height is gonna be 480 and then click scale this might take a while it looks weird right now but it's it's an image so it's whatever you can pick any image you want um, yeah so when you're done click file go to export click export change the name of the whatever image you're gonna use change the name to exactly how I write it SMS background um, you're gonna capitalize SMS and then the capital B and then the rest lowercase and then as dot PNG um, then you're gonna come down to this bar and then do the same thing PNG and then click export it's gonna bring you this just click export again and uh, close this close without saving. I don't care. You can do whatever you want and here's my other image right here Okay, so now we're gonna go to win SCP Okay to use win SCP um, Like I said you have to have open SSH, open SSH and all this other stuff. Okay, so on your phone You're gonna go to settings Then you're gonna go to your Wi-Fi Let it load and then click the little blue arrow pointing to the right next to whatever Wi-Fi you're using. This will give you an IP address. I'm not going to show you mine. Um, whatever that IP address is, um, I believe the first three is 192.168.1. Yeah. That right there is what you need for WinSCP. So now that you have that, go to WinSCP. this screen will pop up for your host name you're gonna type in what your IP address is so I'm gonna type in mine right now for the username it's going to be root R O O T 
and for the password it's going to be alpine a l p i n e now what you're going to do is you're going to click login this screen is going to come up and the first time it should say something 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 um whatever the pop up says just click yes and it'll bring you to this okay so now this is based on this side right here is your iDevice and on this side is your computer. So so it's going to be on private var root. You're going to just click up and then you'll be on private var and you're going to scroll down to where you see stash right here. Double click that. Now if you go down Okay. Now, if you go down, you should have a themes. Um, it should be the only themes that's in your device. Mine has two because I did this recently just to test it out, and I'm showing you how to do it right now. Mine has two, but um, yeah, you should only have one. So go to whatever themes you, that you have. So this one's the one that's on my phone right now. You're going to right-click, click New and then directory and then you're gonna name the folder whatever you want it to be say if you looked up a cat and you want the cat to be your background you can type in uh, cat um, SMS or something so that you know that's what that's what that folder is um, I used an Apple logo so I can just say Apple oops Apple logo SMS and then click OK okay so now that's in now you have this Apple logo SMS you're gonna click into it and then on your computer side you're gonna go to wherever you stored that image that dot PNG image so I put it onto my desktop so I went up one up a folder I went to desktop right here and then I'm going to use SMS background um, so I'm just gonna click that and drag it over right into Apple logo SMS it's gonna bring up this just click copy and it should be really fast once that's done you can exit out so okay okay now we're back to our iPod or our iDevice um, now we're gonna go into winterboard so winterboard um, once it's done loading just go ahead and go to select themes and um, you should see the new folder that you just put in um, mine was Apple logo SMS and there it is right there um, if you put like cats SMS that's what it would be named as um, so just go ahead and click whatever you the folder you used so mine's Apple logo SMS we're gonna back out then we're gonna go to the corner that says respring so just click respring now it's gonna take a while to respring just let it do what it's gotta do and there it is open up now if you go into your messages you should have a new changed background. 